<laughs> hey guys, welcome to mine and Will's YouTube channel. Um, obviously Will can't be in our first video due to the lockdown situation, but he will definitely be in most of our videos. Um, but I thought I'd just start it off with doing a little Q&A where some of my Instagram followers have asked me some questions. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I've got 16 questions to answer. Um, I just picked a few just because I think if I did all of them it will be quite a long video. So question one. It's from Hannah Gymnastics 2007. When did you start training in the Elite Squad? I think I started around nine. That's when I joined. Um, and I've been in it ever since then. So yeah, 10 years. Uh, number two is from Amber.L underscore. What helps get you through hard sessions? I try to think to myself, because I've been doing it for 16 years now, and I think my dog's gonna poo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh, I can't believe she did that. Um, what helps get you through hard sessions? Um, I try to think to myself what I've achieved throughout these throughout the years that I've been doing it and accomplished. Um, and I also think that I could maybe achieve some more. Um, but yeah, it's hard to. It's not. It's not. It doesn't feel nice to have hard sessions. Uh, but those are the sessions that actually do make you stronger so you just want to try and think of the positives instead of the negatives and come away feeling happy I know it's hard but I just feel like that's the best way um, number three how many leotards do you have this is by Ellen Bucknell underscore well I've got quite a few um, I'll show you them these are just all my Rockstar ones as well. Uh, what does that mean? So I've got all of these. It doesn't even look like that many, but yeah. I've got quite a few. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. Oof. Yeah, quite a few. <laughs> and they're just all my Rockstar ones as well. I do have a couple more as well. <laughs> um, number four is by Amber.L underscore. What would you do if you didn't do gym? Um, I think I'd do dance maybe because I actually did do it in school and I actually did like it quite a lot. So I think I'd go down that route. Um, number five is by Amber again. Favourite Leo. Um, Probably for short sleeves, I'd say this one. That one. Definitely. I just like the way, like the colours match really well. And then, say, long sleeved, I'd get the short version just because my long sleeves are somewhere else. This in the back. And then this one in long sleeve as well. And then that's the back. So yeah. Um, number six. How's your life about practice at the moment? I miss practice so much. P.S. You're amazing. This is from Michelle Mubella, I think. Not too sure. Um, it's different just because I'm used to doing six days a week and then six hours a day from now doing um, about two three hours a day of conditioning and that's it so yeah it's very different but 
uh, you just gotta keep keep doing it and hopefully we'll be back to normal flipping again and swinging around the bars so yeah number seven this is from eva dot underscore dot rowlands favorite rocks are leo also you're amazing um i'd say this one like pretty much the same as number five um number eight what inspired you to start gymnastics this is from neve 0234 um well i started it at school in a PE lesson um, and I just loved it that much I just wanted to go to a proper gym which I did um, number nine what age did you start gymnastics this is from molly dot underscore 14 I started it when I was three so very young and I've been doing it for 16 years now <laughs> very long time number 10 what made you want to do gymnastics in the first place? Olivia Jarvis 07 um, This is like number 8 Obviously I started it in school um, So I just wanted to carry it on in a proper gym And also my uh, sister did it as well Which also made me want to do it uh, Yeah. Number 11 how do you get motivated to work out whilst at home? This is from Colour underscore Woodcock. Um, I just try and think what I'm doing it for. So I'm doing this to try and get me to the Olympics, which has always been that biggest dream since I was younger. So that's what I try and think. And then also it will just make it feel a lot easier when I go back to training, like fitness wise and strength wise. Um, number 12, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? This is from Gloria Gavrila, I think. I'm not too sure. Um, I've been to Australia for the Commonwealth Games, which was a very, very nice country. Um, but I think I would, would live in Spain. It's a very beautiful country as well, and the weather is just so nice. Yeah. Um, which apparatus do you find most challenging and why? This is from Shannon DDM. Um, I probably find a floor the most challenging for me. I've always found it challenging since I was little. Um, but I think it's just because I'm more of an elegant gymnast than a powerful gymnast. But then again, everyone probably does have a challenging piece, but mine's flaw. Um, 14. What was the hardest skill to learn and what piece was it on? By the way, I love you so much. This is from underscore Lacey underscore gymnast. My hardest skill was probably double twist and Yushenko. Um, I think it's because since I was little I found vault quite hard. Um, so it was, and obviously for senior you'd like to have a double twist in Yushenko and that, I found it very difficult. Um, but I guess trying to get difficult skills it will be a difficult path. Um, but I guess you've just got to keep working hard and keep trying to get at it. Number 15, when you were younger was your dream to go to the Olympics? By the way, you're amazing and I want to be like you. This is from X underscore Ellie. Yes, well, since when I kind of knew I could go somewhere in gymnastics, that's when I started to think that the Olympics might be, might be a competition that I could potentially go to. Um, so yeah, ever since, so around nine, I started thinking of the Olympics and it's always been a goal and a dream of mine. Uh, number 16, have you thought about what you would be doing without gymnastics? This is from X. Um, if I wasn't doing gymnastics, like I said, I'd probably do dance, but then this could mean 
what would I do after? Um, I definitely I'm thinking about doing coaching after I retire, and, oh, and also I would do makeup probably, be a makeup artist because I love doing makeup. That is it for my first YouTube video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any ideas you'd like to see on our YouTube channel, please comment down below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!